Hey guys, it's Ty Conjures here doing another toy review. Now this is for something slightly different. Uh, it's one of the, well, it's not an official figure, but it's based on the NECA Alien vs Predator figures. And it's, I picked this up from a, a seller on a Chinese website that sells these. Well, they were selling these, so I'm not sure if you can still get them. But it's basically... A kit bash of the NECA Pred Alien from AVP Requiem and an Alien Warrior from the Aliens, Aliens line or the um, is it, yeah or Alien 2 basically. Um, I'm not sure exactly how the they did the mix with some of the parts because some of them seem to be unique enough like the hands themselves aren't uh, what I thought they had just used was to swap the hands from the Pred Alien over onto um, the alien's body but if I remember correctly the original Pred Alien from the or a B a B a P or line had swivel wrists so it didn't have the actual ball hinge joints like this does. Now when I did get this guy, I'll just bring him up closely so you can see him, um, I had to do a little bit of tinkering with him. The mandibles on the head were a bit off so I had to remove them and re-glue them back into place to make them look a little bit more natural. Sorry, my thumb's in the way. Um, I repainted the inner kind of skull part because it was completely black after I had removed the headpiece. The head is kind of loose, it is on the ball joint but it's kind of wobbly and loose. And I had to repair this arm it's not exactly the best, but as you can see, this arm snapped when I got it, so I had to do a slight repair on it. So it does hold it in place, but it's not the best. Um, it does tend to pop off every now and again, but you can get some decent poses with it. As I said, the hands are on a ball joint with an in and out movement, kind of similar to the Star Wars Black series. Uh, and. The arms can swivel here and have double hinged elbows and have a swivel at the upper uh, bicep and they can move in and out. As I said, this one is a bit more finicky because I have to repair it. I'll probably have to do another repair job on it. But it does exactly the same thing. And then there is a sort of waist swivel but it's not the best so I generally tend not to use it. Another thing that happened when I first got this was the tail had snapped off it's just kind of pushed up with a kind of clear plastic piece you can just see the clear plastic um, behind there. Uh, the tail does have a wire, bendy wire going through it so I kind of left it in a fixed pose so I can pose them. The feet, if I can bring it into focus, the feet have the double hinge so they have the hinge at the ankle and then they have the hinge just halfway on the foot. So they can go forward and back. Double hinged ankle or double hinged knees and they have in, out and forward and back motion. Now some of the joints in this guy is fairly tight, so let me just pop them back into focus there. So he is pretty cool figure. Um as I said, the head sculpt on this is basically swapped over from the old NECA AVP or Alien. Uh, I know, I think it's at the end of this year, next couple of weeks, or in early January, NECA are releasing a Alien vs Predator, uh, the first movie style Alien Warrior, which I'm looking forward to. I do have a few of the Alien vs Predator Requiem Alien Warriors, which are kind of a hybrid between the original aliens and the kind of more sleeker alien design from Alien Resurrection and Alien yeah, Alien vs Predator, the first one. They kind of went away from the kind of biomechanical look of them and kind of went with a kind of more um, kind of a more uh, what's the word I'm searching for kind of a more organic look to them and they, uh, overall I like that design, I like both designs of the Alien Warriors so I'm not picky about them but I am looking forward to NECA releasing these new ones soon but uh, as I said I, I would do a quick review for this guy 
There's a, uh, he's a pretty cool figure if you can find them I do recommend getting one even though uh, hopefully somewhere along the lines NECA might actually release a version of this guy with more articulation because even though the original figure is quite highly priced to get one now the the articulation on it was pretty poor for well it wasn't poor for figures back then but it was compared to the alien warriors that NECA have been producing in recent years it's a fairly poor figure because it's mostly swivel joints and a few ball joints here and there like the head on this one is basically a direct swap over because it had, was a ball joint so it looks like they just basically took the torso section of the alien vs predator pred alien and jammed alien warrior arms onto it was and gave him unique alien um, hands based off the alien pred alien and gave him the tail as well so there you go guys just a quick review for this um, hopefully you enjoyed it if you liked it click like if you want to subscribe to my channel feel free to and if you want to comment feel free to do so as well cheers